So another quick tip video this time about the remove light module from Sturmelder which allows us to record and playback modulation and automation adding lots of movement and variation to your patches. I have a full tutorial about this module on my Patreon page uh, together with many other videos and exclusive content if you're interested of course links in the description. Basically we can map parameters right in this case I will map the cutoff of the VCF right and then I can record the movements and then play them back and we can play them back in all sorts of ways. Right, and again, we can use this to add variation to the patches. So here I have um, ions sequencing uh, dark energy, also geodesics and the VCV VCO. This is being mixed into a filter and there is also some delay involved, of course. Let me just reset everything. Right, and you can hear already that there's lots of movement um, in this voice. Right, I have here two remove lights modulating the timbre of dark energy, right? This is unsynced, but I'm resetting them, so it's more or less repetitive. Right, and again, both voices are going through a band pass filter. Also here I have modulation recorded. This will move um, in a ping pong way, so it will move back and forth. Right, I have here another remove light controlling octave shifts with the oct module from VCV. This is a one-shot uh, modulation recorded, recording, <laughs> right? So it will also play according to a clock division. And I have here another remove light adding slew or portamento. This is unsynced, so it will always meet the sequence at different places. Right, so it really adds variation and movement. And you can record all sorts of uh, modulation sources like this and parameter um, movements that you do throughout the patch. Right, but Remove Light can be great also for recording whole performances. Here I have a few voices, I have here a kick, I have hi-hat, I have a bass, I have some noise and I recorded a performance of me just moving a few parameters, muting, unmuting voices, adding intensity um, with changing the uh, color or the timbre of the bass and so on. All of this I recorded with remove light. Right, I have one for the kick, one for the bass, I have also a high pass filter. I have hi-hats and noise again, so I just recorded the movements. All I have to do is hit run and this patch will start running. I will just unmute everything. Right now, I'm not going to do anything. I don't have a MIDI controller connected. I'm not touching anything. All of this is running by itself. So let's hit run and see what happens. It will start here with a filter. Have a look here. can see here the movements that I made right and how things will play the bass moved here soon the kick will be muted right some noise and then the hi-hats will come in also Right, again, just recorded the performance, basically the movements that I made with the different parameters that I wanted to record, like muting, like timbre, bringing voices in and out, and recorded the whole performance. I'm not touching anything. You can see it's still playing. Now the high pass filter moved. And this was it. This was the performance. So you can see how interesting things can become with Remove Light definitely go experiment with it again come join our community on patreon thank you for watching cheers